I don't know if I'm really, really not smart for making this video right now because it's 6.02 p.m. Wednesday, May 16th. I'm getting ready to get on a flight to New York for a school trip. I have to be at YVR at 8. So this is really out of left field, but I wanted to make this video because I felt that this is just a really really just funny topic to talk about. This isn't really anything serious, nor is it a real news story. Spoiler alert, if you were looking for some actual informational discussion, you wouldn't find it in this video. Elias Petterson. He's a player who a lot of people like. Vancouver Canucks fans are excited for him. He had the best rookie season the SHL has ever seen, both in the playoffs and the regular season, beating out the likes of the Sedin Twins, Nasland, Forsberg, even the great Kent Nielsen. Definitely the best performance in the SHL last season, by far, by any of the players over there. And it comes with no surprises that the Vancouver Canucks fanbase is stoked to have this kid potentially stepping into the Canucks lineup next season. Let's face it, he probably will. Let's face it, the dude just dominated the SHL, he's got nothing to prove. Even the weight isn't necessarily an issue because he said it himself, there are tons of guys who weigh the same as him that are tearing up the NHL as well, he just needs to be smarter and at the same time build up his physical frame, which is something that he's already said that he's doing. But other than that, Elias Pettersson's GM over there with the Vekwa Lakers has come out with a few statements that were published in Swedish news outlets and further translated into English by this Passatabulous article here on May 16th. They want him to stay, which is very, very obvious. It's highlighted here in this Passatabulous article that the general manager wants his best player to stay on his team. It's not really a story. But it does bring up some very interesting points, because the Lakers general manager was kind of making it seem like Petersen wasn't ready for the NHL, nor did he feel that he wasn't belonging in the NHL. It's very weird. And you can read about this here on this article, I'll link it down in the description below. TSN 1040 had Mike Zanier, who is a Swedish broadcaster, to talk about Evertsson, who is the Vekwa Lakers general manager, and they asked him to analyze Evertsson's statements. Basically, according to Zanye, Evertsen is talking about how Elias, quote-unquote, does not want to go to the NHL just to fit in. He's got to go and lead the organization, because he's going to be one of the franchise players. And it's very interesting, because he goes on to later say, unfortunately, Pedersen doesn't really know what that means. Which, I don't really understand the point of that. And again, you can read this article for yourself, it's kind of an interesting read because there are so many indirect and sort of direct quotes taken from the Vecqua GM that are sort of hinting at Petrosian not wanting to go to the NHL, and at the same time there are some other quotes talking about how he's not ready. It's kind of weird. And obviously you'd expect this from a general manager who wants to keep the best player in the SHL on their team for next season, seeing as the Lakers are in cap hell right now, and they did just win the championship, so they are in a brief moment of salvation. But going forward, Petersen staying on the Lakers would really provide a fantastic presence, and he would lead the SHL just as Connor McDavid is leading the NHL. And it is highlighted here in this article as well. If he stays in the SHL, he is the best player hands down. And that is something that anybody could say with no qualms. The article also talks about how it would be good for his development to stay behind and develop his game even more before stepping into the NHL, but at the same time, it also talks about how he really doesn't need to do that. He's already proved so much in his 18-year-old, 19-year-old season that... The next step for Petersen is forward. He's got nothing to gain by staying in the SHL. He won basically the equivalent of the Art Ross, the Calder, the Hart, the Conn Smythe, and the Stanley Cup all in his rookie SHL year. If you take a look at the NHL awards and line them up with the SHL awards, that's basically what he accomplished. He has nothing more. And... My goodness, if he does go back to Vecqua next season, that would be an absolute shocker, to be honest. At least, not according to the general manager of the Lakers, who says that it's not surprising to him if Petersen does decide to stay. But, you know, we're all just fans out here. What do we have to say about the general manager? He's trying to run his team. He wants to keep the best players on his team. That's his job. And he's not going to say flat out to the media, Yep, he's gone. That was a good run. Really good one season in the SHL, 
We're glad to have seen you. Sayonara, Petrushan. Of course, that's not gonna happen, right? All in all, it's just a really interesting topic that I thought I would like to talk about just a little bit before my flight over to New York because I'm pretty bored right now and I've already finished packing and I'm going to have to go to YVR in just a little bit here. So by the time the next video is uploaded on my channel, tomorrow afternoon in Pacific Standard Time, I'm going to be in New York. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. Twitter, Plastic, Gaming, and bye.